If you do enjoy this video, please drop a like, it would really help me out, and if you are new here, please consider unsubscribing, because that would also help me out too. And without further ado, let's start the video. Right, hello, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another ser uh, episode of Heroic Hernandez, a series I haven't recorded in about two weeks, because one, there was nothing out whatsoever, as soon as foot birthday went, EA went on a really dry streak, uh, to be prepared for team of the season so i missed one week of foot champs i forgot to register so this is from not this week but last week and an 86 keeper is not bad whatsoever especially for silver on rewards you know silver on rewards isn't going to be the best but 86 is definitely worth it we also have an 84 plus player pick are we going to get anyone good and there we go, Goldson, two, first team of the season down, and what a team of the season he is. 96 strength, 83 stamina, 74 agility, 70 balance with 84 pace. Perfect for some future past and presence. I want to do Rangers, I want to do Celtic. I might do them both depending on, uh, well, both separately, depending on how well uh, everyone does. Uh, later on this season if there's more Celtic if there's more Rangers but as you can see we have 32 packs to get to uh, get through even so no messing about hopefully we can get some more team of the seasons I think the ones we're mainly looking for is we get a board to start off with which is interesting a Portuguese is it from Wolves of course oh no it's Lopez from Leon for was almost Rui Patricio considering 75% of in Wolves but yeah as I said we've got plenty of packs 10 83 plus uh, players is one of the main ones at the end as well as 50k packs we also got div oh and back-to-back -back boards is it going to be anyone good another Portuguese is it Wolves Nelson Semedo Ricardo Pereira I never seem to get Nelson Semedo I usually get Ricardo Pereira but I'm not going to complain a lot higher rated a lot better for SBC fodder because I do really want to try and do that end of era Sergio Aguero uh, but as I was saying we've got plenty of packs marquee matchup packs we've got we've got um div free rival rewards I went up two divisions and then i went back down to div four because uh the friendlies are a lot easier for silver stars and just like that which means it's easier for me to create content uh, for you guys to enjoy so we've got division four rewards we've got division three rewards and we've got division five rewards possibly uh, but as i said quite a lot of rewards to get through today and obviously we have team of the season out so we'll just quick sell all of these as usual. Uh, but as I said, we're looking for Moise Keane being one of the main standout players, I do believe. We also have... Uh, I haven't really had a massive look, so I guess we'll just we'll go through it as we can. Uh, but I know Moise Keane got one. Goldson obviously got one, the person we've just pulled, which is uh, someone I did really want to get, which is always good. Uh, we have Undombele. I forgot. We Yeah, we have Undombele. We also have another we have quite a few right backs i'm pretty sure mukiel is another right back we get another board though we get a hungarian goalkeeper from lazio it is um galassi yes galassi 85 rated as i said all going towards some sbcs either nathan ake oh and diego carlos that was a very nice pack two boards uh, but as i said end of era sergio aguero needs to be done as well as um a 87 rated Nathan Ake I'm pretty sure because I'm not going to be doing La Celso. another board a Mexican a striker from Wolves oh no it's an inform board from LA Galaxy it's Hernandez which is very useful because we do have his flashback which means an 82 inform can go straight to an SBC or just sold for a 20k which will be not 20k 10k either way really nice uh what else do we have here we'll just go from best packs to worst packs by the looks of it from now on we don't have many dodgy packs probably have a few electron player packs in between but we're not going to complain once again another board a portuguese a left mid from benfica it is rafa i do believe yep 
the quicker one out of the two 94 pace but uh, hopefully there is also EFL um, team of the season that has been released Timo Puki, Max Ahrens uh, quite a few Norwich players is what we're looking for so hopefully we can just get team of the seasons really today if I see a walkout I'm begging for a team of the season I don't actually know what the flares look like yet because obviously our only team of the season so far has been Goldson in the player pick but like I said I am not going to complain whatsoever with that and then we'll open our final prime gold players pack is it going to be a board to end it is it going to be a walkout to end it uh, it's just going to be a combo Liberty Torres I'm begging that the flares aren't similar to a combo because if I accidentally miss the fact that it's a walkout then uh, the flares could be the same we'll go for two rare gold packs something that's either going to give you an amazing pack or surprisingly average this one usually gives you a bad pack we do get an 83 goalkeeper though from Lazio send him across going straight into the SBC pile send the Arsenal badge down because nobody wants that then we'll go for the final rare gold play uh, rare gold pack can we get another board can we get a walkout we can get just a rare not the best not the worst send all of you across you can see he's back in packs which means that he's <laughs> it was from last week uh, we've got yeah as I said rare megas we've got megas we've got 50 K's at the end we should have a 1083 plus rated rare player so hopefully we can get through all of the marquee matchups we get a walkout is that a team of the season I think it might be English centre mid oh so it is someone from the EFL 85 rated Grant not too bad 87 pace 8 shooting 8 4 passing 86 dribbling and 82 physical but you cannot complain it is a walkout team of the season that is two down already this episode and he's tradable probably no point in selling him he'll probably go for about 10k in the next hour uh, which is when I'll probably sell him so we'll go uh, we'll go for the prime mixed players pack can we get another walkout can we get another team of the season that is the question we can get a board is that a UCL yes it is from Atalanta it is a 79 rated do hate it when the uh, UCLs are putting 79 rated players as a board end of the day it is a board technically even though many players like myself would hate to see that in a ultimate pack if you see a board but we'll go for this pack can we get something no we cannot hopefully these packs where we get 12 rare players will uh, start to look up for us Rudiger and Aaron Ramsey not the best not the worst good links for marquee matchups though because we are getting all of our fodder back from the marquee matchups that we've uh, started to claim over the past few days. And I'm pretty sure there might be some uh, picks soon, the 81 plus picks, which I'll definitely be doing. I do love the 81 plus picks. They've gave me so many good players in the past. Headliner Lozano. Uh, we've also got What If Ricardo Pereira. has uh, given us some very, very good pulls. And we get a Tadic as well. Not too bad. 83 rated some boards for hopefully some more 85 times 5 plus packs and 83 packs uh, we'll go with the rare electrons players packs 12 rares 6 golds is it going to be a walkout it's going to be a board which you cannot complain about a brazilian a center back a felipe i do believe yep 84 felipe 86 defending and 86 physical is amazing if he literally had 65 pace he would be a walkout and he's tradable which is once again always good to have tradable boards in the club in case the market crashes because then you can sell when they're at the high and buy again when they're low and you need them for SBCs so we'll go with our rare electrons players pack once again we've got two more of these a rare mixed players pack before moving on to the big big packs just get a rare from this rare electrons players pack though hopefully we can get someone like a Moise Keane uh, I do really really want another community team of the season 
if it's going to be an EFL, it's only going to be one man. It's going to be Timo Pukki. It's the one I, I would desperately desire. Because there's not really many good ones from the EFL this year. Like Obviously, last year there was Mateus Pereira and Calvin Phillips. But obviously, West Brom and uh, Leeds have been promoted to the uh, Premier League. One team doing absolutely exceptional, being Leeds United. And one team looking to go straight back down where they were last season, being West Bromwich Albion. But we'll go with our second to last Rare Electrums. Once again, it's a walkout and it's a team of the season. But who's it going to be? Jamaican? A right wing? Is that Bailey? It is Bailey. And he looks like a super sub and a half with 99 pace, 93 dribble and 90 shooting. Our third team of the season in this pack opening. And what a team of the season we have. We've got Goldson and Bailey being our best ones. Two of the community team of the seasons. The big question is, is it going to be two in a pack? It's going to be an Olvaireld with it and a Lopez, which is incredible. A 90 rated Bailey is mental. So it will oh, not send Lopez down for 600 coins. That would be a big, big mistake. But I think, was that our final, our second to last Rare Electrums Players Pack? So I'm pretty sure we've got two Team of the Seasons out of the Rare Electrums Players Pack. We're not going to keep the train going. We're going to get bored, which I'm not going to complain about. A Belgium goalkeeper, we get Castiles from Wolfsburg. A man in his prime who was an incredible keeper. But we'll send him across, getting quite a few tradable players, which is always nice. And then I do believe it's on to the Mega Packs. So let's just see where they start. We'll go Mega Pack number one. As I said, we're looking for them Team of the Season players. If we can get a Prem Team of the Season player, that'll be exceptional for the team. If we don't get it, we cannot complain. We've got Bailey, we've got Golton, and I cannot remember the other guy's name from the FL, but we got him. It was 85 rated Grant. So free team of the seasons so far can we get a fourth in this pack we cannot we can get just a board as i said i'm not going to complain a brazilian can it should be oscar it is indeed oscar man has made a fortune out in china not sure what's going to happen with the chinese league at the moment but uh, hopefully it all goes well because Alex Teixeira is everyone's go-to character at the start of FIFA. We'll go with Mega Pack number 3. Just gives us a rare. Hopefully we're saving all this energy for the rare Mega Packs. And that 10, 83 plus. That is where I really hope we do get a Team of the Season player. We'll go the final Mega Pack. The third and final Mega Pack. Is it going to be good? And it's just going to be a rare to end it off. Not too bad. We'll move on to the 50k packs now. The rare mega, uh, the rare players packs. 12 rares, 12 golds. Can we get a war count? Can we get a team of the season? We can get just a board. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a Welsh right wing from Tottenham Hotspur. It's going to be Gareth Bale. A man who scored a stunner of a goal against Southampton. Uh, I think it was yesterday. But 83 rated Gareth Bale. A man I haven't packed that much once again in FIFA. Which is quite surprising. Usually you'd expect to pack the 83s the most. But just he hardly gets packed in this club. And then we'll go with our final 50k pack. End on a walkout. We do end on a walkout. We end on a team of the season walkout. A Nevelish goalkeeper from Norwich hmm 86 rated cruel not sure if that's is it Tim cruel a Newcastle United legend I do believe and an 83 rated inform and Donny van der Beek that is a very good pack yeah Tim cruel wow I haven't heard that. that's a throwback and a half what was that 20 2015 2016 Tim cruel's prime but uh, anyway, enough about Tim Krull, but that is once again another team of the season down, moving on to the rare Mega Packs. We start on just a board, 
uh, is a UCL board, so most likely it's going to be an 81 rated, an 82 rated Correa, is it? Yeah, someone who does have a team of the season objectives, which I will be doing very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Another uh, Rodriguez to go with it as well, not too bad. Someone who thought would carry leads, turns out Patrick Bamford has took that role. We'll move to rare mega pack number two. Can we get another walkout? We can indeed. We get just a normal walkout, but that is perfectly okay considering every walkout we've had so far, I do believe, is a team of the season. But we do get someone who will be getting a team of the season in a few weeks' time, Thomas Muller. 86 rated, once again, cannot complain, just more fodder for the club. Uh, coins, I do believe that was. Something you rarely, rarely see in packs. 3,000 at the max. Yeah, he must be feeling lean, a bit lenient today. Almost trying to mill coins again, which is uh, always nice. These rare mega packs have not been the stuff. Bender, send the rest down. This is why we like to keep two Div 4 rewards. Because in our four rare mega packs, we've got one walkout and one board and then two rares so not the best from the rare megas but you cannot complain because i do believe we're on four team the season so far and we get once again this 83 goalkeeper if he's tradable happy days if he's not then uh, i'll send him straight to the discard pile he is tradable though luckily so we'll send him down and he will go to the transfer market and then finally to finish off the episode we get 10 83 plus rated rare players is it going to be a walkout is it going to be a team of the season it is what's the flag english right back oh it's a ucl i thought it was a team of the season either way ucl walkout trent alexander arnold once again good fodder does it hide any other walkouts it hides a Roberto Firmino, a Koke, a Sirigu, a Benyetta, a Vidal, and a few others, as well as an Inform. So I'll make sure to chuck that Inform in for a later date. But that will be it for the end of the episode. Thank you so much. Show you some of the team of the season players we have got today. Uh, we'll keep Jay Lings because it's Jay Lings. Roy Keane can go out. Edison Cavani can go out. And so can Hangui Chan. And in their place. We will add our brand new team of the season players and most likely because it's EA we will uh, not be able to search it. We got Bailey. Then we got our second one being was he an 87 Golton. There we go. Uh, we got Tim Cruel as well. We got four. I forgot about Tim Cruel. Can we find him? And there we go, Grant being on the same page. And we got a, a very good red pick as well. Such a Virgil van Dijk out. But like I said, that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you are new here, please subscribe. Because we are going to have plenty more of these Team of the Seasons being packed. And plenty more content being brung to you. And I will see you boys in the next one. Goodbye.